Hey everybody, this is a video to help you um, be able to check either um, your progress on your assignments that you've turned in, like a Dropbox assignment, or your grades, um, or even to see if you have any attempts left, okay? So if you're ever wondering, what's my grade, <laughs> this video is for you. So this is going to be um, the K-12 platform, specifically like middle school. Uh, it might help with high school as well. Um, I'm going to be going through the Alabama Virtual Academy's um, online school. But um, this should help with, you know, pretty much anyone in middle or high school. Um, so first, <laughs> click your classes, okay? And that's going to take you to another page that will show you all of your little class logos, okay? Um, and I'm going to show you inside a language arts um, class and to show you how to click um, to check your grades. So the first place that I like to look is the progress. OK, a lot of people don't know, you know, about what's inside the progress because maybe it looks a little bit overwhelming if you don't know what it is. OK, so this is found on the class homepage of each one of the courses. OK. Um, so click that progress button at the top and it'll take you inside this summary page, okay? You can see a lot of things on this page, so it can get a little bit confusing. So I just want to focus on the assignments and the quizzes, okay? Those are um, two places that are really helpful to see grades. If you click on assignments, that'll show you any kind of Dropbox assignment. That's like if you turned in a, um, a Word document or a PowerPoint, anything like that. Okay, so click assignments inside of the progress tab. And um, then it will show you this page over here. Okay, and it's kind of like a just a list of all of the assignments in order. All right, so it shows you the obvious part is the grade. Um, and but the really great part is what's not showing yet <laughs> and that is the details okay so inside the details is really where you can figure out how to turn you know this 23 into a 30 out of 30 okay so definitely always click inside the details button okay so if you click the details button all of this will pop down okay and all of that <laughs> is called the feedback so feedback is kind of like notes from your teacher um, on how you know you kind of lined up to the rubric okay so the, we always have the rubric that tells you you know how you're going to be graded so really the feedback is kind of how um, the teacher evaluated you um, according to what the rubric was asking for okay so you can always find really helpful tips in here like hey make sure you turned in that planning document because the the rubric was asking me to, to grade your planning document but I didn't see it so make sure it gets turned in um, or down here you know they were grading on that part of the um, the rubric but they were like hey you know I found these things but then I really think if you use the checklist and kind of revise your story again you would probably you know be able to correct these things so that's kind of helpful tips that you might would find inside that feedback so definitely always click that details button it's kind of like your best friend that's gonna help you get a better grade <laughs> that's the details okay all right, so just a summary, your teacher um, will give you feedback on Dropbox assignments, and that's just so you can make corrections, okay? So you can know, you know, why you got your grade, how you can make it better, that type of thing. Always use any feedback or if they give you like attached documents in there or any kind of links, anything that they give you, always use it and try to make, um, you know, revisions on your work. Now, if you're like any of the students that I have, you're probably wondering, when do I have time to go back and redo assignments? Well, you don't always have to completely redo it. You just can kind of tweak it here and there. But a great time to do that is on a catch-up day. <laughs> All right, obviously catch-up day is not really spelled that way, but um, we do usually have catch-up days at our school every other Friday. So that's a great time for you to go back, look in your progress tab, check out those assignments, see if you have any feedback that can help you um, go and raise those grades, okay? 
Next, inside the progress tab, you're still in the progress, you can click quizzes, okay? This is going to show you a list of all the quizzes that, that are there and that you've taken already. And even it'll show you like if you skipped a quiz on accident, things like that. So um, what I noticed right here, are, you know, it's the title, um, attempts, um, grades, things like that. Okay, and we're going to go over that. But I also see my best friend down here, the details. So let's take a look at those. So first is attempts. Okay, these are, you know, how many chances you have on a quiz. Um, so that one's finished. That one's finished. That one, they have one more. Okay, so they could maybe um, take another attempt and maybe bring up that B to an A. Okay, um, I'll show you a tip on that in just a second. But basically, as you can see, it kind of averages, um, it, you know, it takes all your three quizzes and whichever attempt was the highest score, it'll just keep that one score. So you don't have to worry about taking another attempt and, you know, wondering if it's going to mess up your grade. <laughs> it'll just keep the highest score. So like I said, our BFF right here, the details button, okay, this is not necessarily going to show you feedback, but it will show you each attempt that you used, okay? So keep in mind that attempts um, are not always going to be identical quizzes, but it will be um, very similar information, maybe um, in different order, maybe different question. So it's not always going to be identical on each attempt. But if you go back and review the questions that you missed and figure out what those right answers were, it will definitely help you be able to study and review before you take all three attempts, okay? So if you click that details button, it'll just pop up each attempt that you've already used. You can click the attempts and you can actually see the questions that you missed and the, and the correct answers, okay? So that's really helpful to do before you use all your attempts, okay? Once you've used all your attempts, I mean, that's kind of, it's over, you know? So don't do that. Go back and review before you use them all. All right, so um, we just talked about the progress button, but now we're moving on to the grades button, okay? There's not as many different things to click on inside the grades button so it might be a little bit easier for you to look at just like the grades and the feedback okay so this is another place to look click on the grades all right inside the grades tab um it's just listed you know every quiz every test every dropbox even like bonus okay it's all gonna be in here so you can kind of see just a quick overview of the grades that you have. It doesn't necessarily show you attempts that you've used, so you would definitely have to look in the progress maybe to, to figure that out. But if you see that little preview right there, it does show you your feedback in here. So um, this is kind of what it looks like for the drop boxes with the feedback. So you'll see your grade, and then you'll see all of the feedback, okay? And look, there's a link right there. The teacher was um, trying to help them, you know, find that. Um, so that's definitely a great place to, to read all about it and to see um, whatever your teacher is suggesting that you maybe work on to bring up that grade. So just a quick recap. Um, you know, you can definitely check the progress tab at the top and look at any Dropbox assignments under the assignments tab or any quizzes and tests under the quizzes tab, okay? And then you can definitely check your grades um, and I would definitely make sure that you always read the feedback, okay? Don't just look at the grade, read the feedback and see what your teacher is suggesting. Maybe they're saying, hey, you did a great job. Okay, you want to read that and give yourself a pat on the back, you know, but if there's anything that you can work on, definitely take time and read that feedback, especially on a catch-up day, okay? Um, all right, well, if you have any questions, ask your teacher and they can go through that with you um, and maybe help you figure out how this can work for you.